Well, it's all begun at the tractor supply getting the rail system for the barn doors of the sawmill side shed. Two twelves, two tens, these are the rounded ones made for the 600 pound doors. And keep in mind the, the doors are going to be uh, 10 foot wide, two, two 10 foot doors. And uh, anyway, we'll take and get back to the house and get started on the, the build. Well, it's cold out today, but here's an update on the farm. I did get a second uh, shop light, got that in, put more light out here. Underneath this shipping blanket is the uh, planer, but I went ahead and bought the adapters and uh, for a dust collector in a Rubbermaid, in that Rubbermaid trash can, it does a pretty good job. The dust collector itself is that one horsepower one from Harbor Freight. It, uh, it does a pretty good job. I wouldn't be able to hook anything else up to it for dust collecting on that planer. Probably could stand a one and a half or a two horse, but it, there's nothing catching the, the fine particles coming out, but I'm able to catch the big stuff. I, I'm gonna show you the, the, the big stuff. These are the, the, the pine shavings that's coming out of the dust collector. Uh, so there's the update on the planer, the dust collector. And I did get out to Tractor Supply to get the stuff that I need for the barn doors for this opening behind me and that is a 24 foot opening including that small walkway that's right behind me and if you recall from other videos i can fit just about a 20 foot log through this opening i think it's about a shy of of four inches but we could get that in here if need be i've got a gate on this other far end and a gate making it nice to, to, to come and go inside here keep the cows out of course you'll probably see the steers and i've already fed them but they're still bawling some more the boards underneath that is we milled up i think i've done a video on those as well but the board and batten uh inch and an eighth boards and then i've got some inch and a half but what i think i will do the framing of the doors, I'm going to put two doors, 10 by 10, um, so it'll cover a 20 foot hole, probably do a walk through gate or a walk through door in that four foot opening. It's actually narrower than four foot. But in the last video, we had been sawing up some telephone utility poles. I'm going to share this with you. Give me your thoughts. I'll clean off my trailer so I've got a flat spot to build the doors. But take the... I've got some 12s and 10s here on the trailer. Closest to me are the 12 foot long. But go ahead and mill down the shorter ones to inch and a half and make those my framing for the barn doors and of course you see the boards over here those were the boards uh, they came from the telephone utility poles as well 
I use those for the forming of my concrete um, in the walls inside of the shed. Something that I want to show you, and that will probably finish it up for this week. Very busy week this week coming up. But uh, the sheep have eaten all of the green stuff off of the uh, that English ivy that was all over the maple tree. And by them doing that, we're able to see the biggest, I don't know if you call it a trunk or the vine. But look at the size. I'm not sh sure how many years this has been growing up this tree, at least 10 years. But like I said, this ivy will kill trees and deteriorate the side of your house or anything else. But just look at all of all of that. I'm almost wondering what kind of wood it would make up. Oh, there's some some green stuff still trying to come up. But the branches off of this tree, we put on the burn pile and got rid of it. I don't want any more ivy on the farm destroys buildings, trees, and everything else. But I've got uh, soft maple, hard maple, some hickory, the telephone poles over, right, let's see, where are they at? Telephone poles right there. More of the pine trees. Uh, the cows are over there by the squeeze chute. I wanna build a, a canopy building, something over all of that probably take some of the telephone poles and make them into a round corral, a corral system better than what I've got. I've just got gates, panels, all of that for working the cows, but it'd sure be nice to get that under cover. And uh, do you feel sorry for them? I've already fed them a hundred pounds of grain They've got all the hay that they can eat, free choice of, of hay, but uh, anyway, I think I will call that for now, for this week, and uh, appreciate you following along. Anyway, let's get back in the house where it's warm. Oh, off of that maple tree, it was also that, uh, not far from the maple tree coming up the, the lane, was this cedar tree it was actually one of the limbs that forked off and it was rotten right in the crotch of that tree and when i cut it off let's see if got a runny nose it's cold weather and i cut about 18 inches off of it and it's rotten I'll, but i'll throw that up on the sawmill see if i can get any good cedar boards out of that at all and I think on these great big hickory logs, my tractor won't pick up these hickory logs, but I think what I'll do is pull my sawmill out here and between the uh, ramp system and the winch for the sawmill, plus my tractor, get these up on the sawmill and start cutting them up, see what we can come up with. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for what's happening next here on the farm. Chickens, the cats.